Hey guys, Dusty Baker here with Cross Timbers Bison. Um, this isn't sulfur. We're not out in the pasture with the bison. Um, yeah, we're in a little different place today. Um, we're up in northeastern Oklahoma, far northeastern Oklahoma. We're at uh, the three corners, which is the corner of Kansas, Oklahoma, and Missouri. And today, um, my wife and I, um, Marissa, are up doing a um, kind of a bison social, a um, part of the Oklahoma Bison Association. Um, we're doing a tour of the Quapaw facilities and, and and their handling systems and and their whole structure that they do uh, up here um, you've heard me talk about quapaw a lot um, my two bred heifers that just had two calves are both quapaw heifers they came off of a ranch here not too far from us but this is the casino um, hotel it's called the downstream casino and hotel we just had breakfast here and we met as a uh, an association and um, it's a beautiful place. It's an absolute beautiful um, resort, hotel, casino, and it's part of the Quapaw Nation um, in Oklahoma. So today is going to be a little bit different. We're not going to be hanging out with my bison. Um, we're going to be hanging out and with the Quapaw Nation bison. They also raise cattle too, so we're going to be able to see kind of how they do things and, um, and all their facilities. We're gonna go to the feedlot. Um, we're gonna go to their um, their um, butcher place, uh, where they you know where they process the meat, and uh, they do everything within the nation here. They have several restaurants and hotels, and basically everything that they produce um, is served right here in their restaurant and hotel. So yeah, it's a little gonna be a little bit different today, but um, I hope that you enjoy it. We have a lot of things in store. We're gonna be driving around in one of the tour buses and Sean Henderson, um, he's the ranch manager up here and he is going to be giving us a big tour of everything. So um, we're gonna take you along with us um, and do something a little different today and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you guys. All right, guys, so what we're doing is we're touring one of the bison handling facilities, and um, you can tell that, man, this is, this is a working facility. This is, this is on a big operation. Now, you see how many I have, my little small herd of eight, but this is a true handling facility, and this is just the outside working portion of it. So you have your big alleys, and... Um, you know, kind of holding staging areas. They'll bring these um, bison in here and it, they could be calves for weaning. Um, it could be yearlings. It could be cows. I mean, 
you got all different ages, but they'll bring them in here and they'll get them in here, kind of used to used to these facilities, and um, they start feeding them hay and some feed and kind of calm them down once they're in here, and then get them ready, and then they'll process them through, um, you know, the actual handling facility and run them through the chute where they can get their vaccinations and on all that good stuff. Um, but this is a serious set up here that the Quapaw Nation has. Sean Henderson, uh, a good friend of mine and um, the ranch manager here, the, one, the guy who I got my two Quapaw heifers from, um, has done, done a great job here and, and he knows what he's doing. And, and I take a lot of notes from him and I pay attention to what they do here. But you can see the herd way over there. There's some yearlings and there's some calves in there. And um, so this is just one part um, of the whole um, system that they have. Okay, so right here, this is a hydraulic squeeze chute and this is a serious squeeze chute. Um, I'm not gonna get a hydraulic one. I just don't need it really right now. And plus they're really expensive. Um, but um, I'm gonna get a manual squeeze chute. This one's pretty fancy. You can see all the hydraulics to it. And you can see the whole system set up. I mean, this is serious stuff. But this is when those bison run through here. They kind of have a tendency, they want to just keep running, so this will stop them. But this is a serious facility. Thick, hard metal that you've got to have for these bison. This is hard steel pipe, thick and it's sheeted to uh, keep them. Um, a lot of facilities are sheeted, so it keep them, their vision from left and right keeps them trying to go straight. So this is a really nice setup. I mean, it is solid all the way around. And uh, this is, they've got this down to a science of how they get these bison um, safe to, safely and, you know, um, with as less stress, amount of stress as possible to get these bison to come through here. They don't want a lot of stress and they do go under some stress, but they want to try to reduce that much as possible. And so you got to have good facilities and this is some really good facilities. Hey guys, um, so now we're at the processing plant. Uh, this is in the town of Quapaw. Uh, earlier we were at the downstream casino, now we're touring the processing facility. Um, not only do they raise bison, um, they got around 200 bison, um, can have up to 300 uh, depending on the time of the year, but uh, they raise a lot of cattle. So um, they were in the cattle industry first, um, raising lots of cattle, uh, beef cattle, and then um, have slowly got into the bison. And um, they do a great job um, with the bison, uh, but their number one thing has been cattle and they're slowly getting into the bison. But we're at the, the processing facility here. Um, it's only two years old, but man, it, it's such a nice facility. Um, we can't film or take pictures inside the facilities. But, um, man, it is top notch. This is a USDA certified facility. And if you uh, process your meat, that can be goats, sheep, uh, bison, cattle, or pigs, and you want to be able to sell it, you have to go through the USDA, USDA um, process. And it has to be processed through a USDA inspected facility. And this is a USDA inspected facility. And uh, it is top notch. I mean, they are 
I mean, I think they spent six million dollars on this entire facility, which is a lot of money. But um, when it comes down to it, um, you've got to have really good facilities. You've got to have, um, they've got to pass inspection, and you just have to do things right if you want to create a quality product. And that's what they do. And a lot of their um, animals that they produce here goes straight into uh, the casino restaurants and and some of the local um, restaurants and, and places like that. Um, even up here in, in this part uh, of the country, um, as a school teacher, I thought this was pretty cool that um, they're also uh, incorporating bison meat into the school system, which is really awesome. I love that. Um, it's not something you get to eat when you're in school is is the bison, but that is a healthy, um, you know, meat that the kids can have while they're in school, which I think is tremendous. And I think that's awesome to incorporate that. And the natives, um, the Native American tribes up in northeastern Oklahoma, um, are able to do that. But what a great facility here that. Um, that the Quapaw has and um, being able to walk through the whole process of when an animal gets here and gets off the trailer and the process of it um, being packaged and sealed and, and shipped to wherever in a restaurant or a grocery store um, or to your home. So um, pretty neat. It's a little different aspect to what we're used to. Um, you know, this is some people may not like this part of it, uh, the processing part, but um, you know, it's it's part of it if that's what you want to do if you want to raise a uh, a meat source and we all know that the bison is a great source for a high quality protein a healthy meat um, you know this is the, what they have to go through and um, we hadn't quite got there yet back in uh, with my little small herd and we won't probably for a long time uh, just because we're small and it takes so long to start but um, this is where it all kind of leads to if you want to go that direction All right, so we're here at the feed yard. This is where they'll feed out a lot of their steers. Um, not, this is not used for the bison facility, but um, it's pretty impressive. All these handling working facilities that they have. I mean, this is hard, hard steel pipe um, beefed up right here. This is the way you do it. Um, but there's a huge feed lot. You can kind of see, sorry, the sun's bad. But um, anyways. What a great facility that uh, the Quapaw Nation has and um, Sean Henderson uh, runs out here. Uh, they do a great job and they have uh, took the time to give us a tour. Um, we had, uh, I don't know, about 16 uh, Oklahoma Bison Association members today, which was fun. And also it was uh, my wife's birthday and uh, probably not what she expected to do on her, uh, you know, birthday, but, uh, is come out and see some see some uh, bison facilities up in Miami, Oklahoma, in the Quapaw Nation. But um, we had fun. It was a good day, and uh, I know it was a little something different than my bison uh, farm. You know, um, it'd be really fun to go out and um, look at other bison farms and and see how they operate. And on a large scale like this one, um, where you've got 200 head of bison. And uh, even on a small scale, I think it'd be really fun to be able to do that. And so um, Sean was nice enough to um, allow the Oklahoma Bison Association members, some of the members to come up and um, show us around the facilities. He spent most of the day out here um, showing us all their working facilities, the processing plant, their feed lot. And so really pre uh, appreciate Sean and the Quapaw Nation um, for allowing us to do this. They have some really great facilities and the reason is um, because of good people um, like Sean and, and the guys that he works with that do a really great job 
um, of trying to perfect the handling system so that they can um, handle cattle and bison safely and um, just do everything the right way and try to be um, yeah, smart about it and just and you know when you have all these great facilities and you do a good job you create um, you know good product and I think that's what they want to do and the Qual Foundation is doing things to help enable that so hope you guys enjoyed it today I know it's a little bit different but um, you know it, it's good to branch out and see what everybody else is doing uh, thank you guys for watching um, follow us along on cross timbers bison on Facebook or Instagram and uh, you know subscribe to us if you want uh, we appreciate the followers that we have and just love that there's a lot of uh, people out there that love to see our bison in our small farm in Sulphur, Oklahoma. Thank you guys.